Anyway. Last time on Avalon, our here. Uh, yeah. Sorry, that was the chocolate milk going down wrong. Mm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm so glad that's not getting cut out. Get me the hard stuff. I, I see it. So, me. everybody rolling. So, everybody rolling initiative, we are fighting the chocolate milk elemental. Mm. All right. Get me the milk on the rocks. Our heroes Chocolate began their first day stirred. working for ugh, Dr. Nix Tenebris at her archaeological dig site. Um, after a little bit of a... Not even a little bit. After a pretty rocky start, um, our heroes begin their first day with actually their first challenge, battling an unearthed war forge that one of the students had managed to dig up. Which reactivated and went a bit went on a bit of a shooting spree, um, as our heroes triumphant as you do triumphantly battled against it, claiming a piece of it in the process. As let me see here, you guys pretty much spent the rest of the day uh, kind of digging up the rest of this little warforge patch with the other students, and you would basically that take a bullet, double tap. Make sure that make sure the dead stay in the ground. Let mm -hmm. me see. Uh, that warforged also very gratefully uh, reminded us that there was something wrong with my stats. So I have better stats now. Thank yes. you, warforged. You at <laughs> you're welcome. You got yourself rebalanced because there was there was an issue there. What a helpful so. what a helpful meta gaming golem. Exactly. Woo, woo. All right. <laughs> ah, so the meta out. Go back. Just, just your friendly neighborhood uh, meta golem passerby. So we shall pick up much later from where we left off. That was pretty much your guys' first first day here. <laughs> was taken care Two of. Two years thing. later. Two years later. <laughs> Time skip. <laughs> it, since, it is only, since it is only a 30 minute drive back to or back to uh, San Rea, you guys pretty much help pack up the camp at the end of the day. Uh, help make sure Two any minutes. doors or any of the cabins are locked up. Make sure or help load in any artifacts that they managed to dig up into vans to help bring them on back to San Rea, and you guys are basically like the escorts to and from the camp. Um, in the yes. very early morning, uh -huh. they you guys meet up with the staff at the university again, and once again, you act as escort to help get them oh. to the camp, help unload stuff, and the cabin that you guys were pretty much assigned to... Um, as your little, like, on-base office, they give you... They manage to scavenge up a table, a couple of chairs to place into this tiny little cottage to act as your, you know, sort of like the foreman's trailer um, when you're on a dig site or when you're on, like, a construction site. It's like your little... Your, it's like your little office. Your little one-room office. There we go. I imagine I've already got somewhere else on the site to be. Let me see here. Since um, before these guys arrived. <laughs> uh, you actually you go with them. It's everyone. Everyone goes together. Everyone leaves together because any stragglers who are there without the security run the risk of, you know, accidentally well, invoking the curse. Explosion. Yeah. yeah. I, I just I just mean <laughs> that while here I've probably got Return my own separate place to be. Thank you for that, Gypsy. I didn't I mean obviously if everybody leaves when everybody leaves, then I leave with them and I return yeah. with them, but while here doing work, I imagine I've got somewhere separate besides their little foreman's hut. Um oh, really the quick. main <clears throat> place that they're, hold they're holding is like the main office and study area is the is where this uh, water mill forge area is. 
Yeah. Every other house is either serving as kind of um, as a storage or just as right. a place. Um, I'm, kind of, I imagine they've got. I imagine they've got some kind of like dark room for dusting off de- artifacts in case they're like delicate or something. Um, that would pretty much be our main little area right here. It's large enough to house like tables and stuff. Um, yeah, but they've got like a, a specific area where they probably try and keep the lights out with like windows covered and dim. Wait, why would they? Why, why would they, they need to that? keep the lights out for artifact? I mean, aren't there some artifacts that might be light sensitive? Uh, That's more of like developing pictures. No, that, there are some that, ancient that, that artifacts is, it, in real that life would that be, get destroyed. He is light. dropping an archaeology fact on you right now. That's actually a good yeah. thought. Um. That is a real archaeology factoid. <laughs> I would say that in that they could case, have a they room would, that's like artifacts. They would have it in a storage, like and if it is light sensitive, then they would take it back to the university since they have much more delicate equipment there. So basically, they would yeah. just keep it in storage until it goes back at the end of the day. I imagine one of Fresnel's jobs during the day is to periodically check on that specific the storage space to make sure the lights are still good slab. not anything her, since her maid her actual major at the university is optical physics so she's the one who would know okay. or suffer the curse okay fair man enough. i can't man so hey, man, i can't Kat. believe Hey. Jump on in. Hi, cat. Man, I can't believe Fren- Frenel just turn- turned on an x-ray mode in Minecraft. <sighs> Activate detective vision. I mean, vision. I could. <laughs> I actually could if you wanted me to. <laughs> Get you I literally have... I literally Frenel have... Stop. Adil- Frenel, stop. I- Frenel, stop. For now, stop putting on X-ray mode. You're you're stealing all the diamonds. Mm-hmm. I literally okay. have an ability called Fenestrate. <laughs> Stay focused for me, friends. All right. Impossible. I know. Let but I'll do it for you. See here. Mm-hmm. Right. Do I have to? All right. Yes, you're giving your. Do office. you want to be a real dragon in dungeon, sir? Yeah, and I thought that meant being find some paths. Yeah, and I thought that meant being completely stupid. On back to camp, you guys are. I already did mine. I know you did. That's why I'm telling everyone else. You're not my dad. Shut up. Here we go. All right. Uh, I have to make a cross map drag. All right. Okay. Out of curiosity, it, it is, it is frustrating. The zoom button is frustrating because it doesn't center the zoom where you want it to. So you have to keep dragging around. Who had uh, the I um, new UI? Who had the uh, construct cannon or the warforge cannon? I believe that was Venom. Yeah, I put it in the fucking car. Okay. And then I probably oh, handed oh, that off oh, to Gun Gear. One person okay. at a time. Okay, you got it. All right. Go on, Venom. It went into the trunk, and then mm. once we got it to... Uh, back to San Rea, what I handed it off to Gun Gear to be like, can you figure out how to make this thing functional? He uh, he examines it real quick. He looks at um, the connections. He looks down the barrel. Um, let me see here. Because I would mention it's probably it's currently unactivated, not working due to it being disconnected from its. I assume main power source. If he had to hazard a guess. Not not not. Yeah, I think I. Could. I mean, what do you want me to do with it? I'll make it functional, make it more portable. Shrug. Yeah, man. An actual gun. An actual, Something okay. small. 
Okay, I can do that. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to give you an arm laser or make a helmet out of it or oh yeah, I can I can do something like that. Ivan's voice Maybe comes like through a right session. Hole. I, I, Ivan's voice comes through a little bit and saying, and no train max. <laughs> Whoa. It's literally a buster arm. <laughs> give me a give me a couple of days, I'm sure I can Jimmy Jam a the, the slimmy slam out of this kablam kablam. Hey man. <laughs> Gazoo tight. <laughs> uh, um, also, why the hell did the map bug the fuck out? Uh, apparently, Dragon DC'd. Oh, he's back. Oh, I actually gotta reboot my roll 20 because the map I, bugged out. I'm, I'm yeah, it bugged out for me really quick. Alright. Yeah, I know what that is on the map. Like I said, it doesn't actually pan when you try to pan, but the map edges still mm. come into view. Well, I had a weird map control. bug where it cloned an area of the map on a different area without actually uh, doing uh, anything. All right. Welcome to Roll Gypsy. 20! Hey, um, Simon has a little crazy idea. He takes the gun, cannon. Uh-huh. Before, but I was already yeah. Well, why do you think I tried to do it at the same time before you did your thing? Oh well, um, I take the cannon, and I put the we have I have Alex shift the car to frost mode, and I'm like, does this register as gun? No. Oh, that's terrifying. The thing that I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, I, we just try it before we hand it off to get it analyzed. Yeah, probably before you you guys even like drive it back to San Rea. Probably exactly. like, as you're all getting in the car, it's just like let's let's just try this with the car really quick. I cast, you, you I see cast it convert to gun. You see it like attempting to like like form something. It just ends up forming a basic like turret, a firearm on the hood of the car. It cannot yeah, replicate any perfect. of the magical properties. Yeah, I, uh, okay. I, I was more guessing because it's conserved technically a siege engine. It's uh, not a I've siege engine, it's a magic it. item. Oh. And see, my guess was also wrong. My guess was that it was just too high of a monetary value. Okay. Well, what monetary well, value? That well, you know what priceless. I mean. Priceless. <laughs> Infinity is uh, too high of a monetary value for the gun to recreate. Exactly. Okay, so we can now proceed. Yes. It's like a freaking. It's like a freaking bike in um, in Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, where it's one, where it's always one digit above what the maximum is. You know, actually, were we allowed to get away with that cannon? Uh, yeah, yes. Yes. So, yeah. remember, I remember during the last session that you guys were specifically given permission. She kicked it yeah. to us. Yeah. Okay, she cool, literally cool, cool. chopped it off with a shovel and basically was like, take it before I change my mind. Yeah. Cool. Respect. Respect for actually defending the site. <laughs> so, yeah. I was That's thinking why. that maybe we could actually convert that okay. to like a. I was thinking that maybe we could actually convert that to a security system in the base. Uh, Have you ever heard of? We the probably Pokemon... need more than just the goddamn severed arm. Have you ever heard of the Pokemon Blastoise? <laughs> <laughs> we take you are not putting that on Vladimir. Attach it to Vladimir. <laughs> Vladimir. Vladimir would be crushed if he did that. No, I, we just I, gotta build them faster, stronger than ever. I, I can do that if I dive into the freaking uh. What's it? What's it called? It's not transmutation. I can't remember what it's called. Let's see if I can find my sunglasses. Real quick. Because a fun fact was I was actually planning on going into that sphere to turn uh freaking Vladimir into a, into a freaking uh mini into a freaking uh mini or Nakidora uh. Why can't I remember the name of the kaiju? Sorry, I was trying to... Gamera! 
Like, trying to see if I could find my sunglasses. Just Gamora. <laughs> Gamora. No, uh... Gamera, the yeah, Gamera flying, is the what I meant. Flying rocket turtle. Yeah, I was planning to go into the uh, whatever the transmutation sphere is. is. That how it's pronounced? It's Gamera, not Gamora. No, it's Gamera. No, Gam Gam Gamora and yeah. Gamera are are two different creatures. They're two oh. different things. Great. Glad okay. I understand this now. <laughs> okay, back to the game. Gamora's <laughs> Marvel. Back to the game. All right. Anyways, let me see here. All right. Uh, students start to go about their business. Uh, some of them tend to the storehouses. Some of them begin to stand or uh, take up their duties in the workshop. Um, for the most part, you guys are basically mm -hmm. given free reign to do as you want. It's just set yourselves up if again if there are any real incidents um they'll send up signal flares to you or they'll not to you guys but they'll shoot them up into the air to let them know of that uh, any danger we'll say around ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, a couple hours into the shift you have a couple of students who actually come and knock on your guys's uh, office or just come and approach wherever you guys might be. Let me see who comes up first. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Our office in okay. San Rio or our quote unquote office here? Office here. Um, so the quote office. Let me, I'm okay. actually going to roll to see who out in the open. I, Ivan will open the door. Hold on. Like I said, I'm going to roll I mean, first just to see who's popping on up. Because I see a couple people out in the field. Um, I don't see anybody out in the field. I think those might all be in GM lair. No. Venom. No, and he's Alex talking about the people river. outside the, uh, the house. There's nobody outside the house except we for are. me. Three. Oh my god, look at the map. We're talking about I us. Are you not seeing? I either? said decide you three. I don't see uh, any other workers. Yes, he's talking about us. Okay. Okay, Jack. They end up coming on up to you since they don't really seem to see Alex. Kind of. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> let me see here. A couple of uh, about your age. Um, one of them's kind of a the average twenty-somethings. <laughs> yeah. Um. One of them's sort of a muscle-bound hobgoblin uh, female. The other one, wearing she's wearing these really tiny reading glasses, but she does not look like she needs them. Um, the Excellent. other one, uh, the other one's kind of a shorter male, has his hair and this like buzz cut, looks completely out of place. Um, and the guy comes on up to him, he's like, "Are you, um, are you like?" Uh, the shooty shoots. <laughs> the shooty Sorry, shoot. uh, boy, the, boy. the guy with the buzz, the guy with the buzz cut, probably looks like he should be in some military school. <laughs> um, he, if he had any bulk to his body, he looks like he would be in a military school. It looks like this was just a fashion he's choice. Got, he's got the cut, but not the bulk. Got it. He went in. He went into this because um, it was yeah, a requirement class I for him. Shoot a gun. Okay. Um, Why? Well, I mean, with you guys here, I, um, I guess we can try to get the work on more stuff. Is there like a form or anything we need to fill out with you guys to do anything, or do we just ask? So I'm very. I mean, this is my first. One of, or sorry. I mean, technically, we're already under a contract under Doctor Tenebris's father, I, and by proxies, her at the same time. I just didn't know if so, it was like a like a an action form or something. Sorry, man. I'm just not, I'm not used to the paperwork just yet. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. Oh, look, we're basically going to respond to any of the f signal flares you guys throw up if you want any of us to come uh, with you on whatever expedition mining thing you're going to be digging up what have you we can 
we got enough people to a degree. So if you want one of us with you now, that's fine. I mean, I'll just um, let the guys know. We just uh, we just need someone to go in and check out a cave before we go in there. Oh, okay. yeah, I could do um, that for you. <laughs> just show me where it is. Let me just let the, te- the rest of the team know. And as you say, um, as you or as you're saying that, you see him go to instinctively reach for a pen. Like he's he is literally so used to just the mundanity of paperwork. Before he's just like, okay, no, put that back. Also, I just kind of a freaking and Jack's just gonna throw <laughs> open the door up here. Oi, I'm I go in with a small group of students to check out something. I'll be back. I I'm. I'm rolling to see if I hear the mention of cave. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, it's not like Jack was being exactly the most quiet person in the world. He's probably speaking at a moderative tone. I mean, it's yeah, possible that Alex bridge. overheard it. Well, yeah, yeah she I'm did. Just across, I'm just across the bridge, too, like just over there. Um, I mean, yeah. you could see the students go. You could see a couple of your uh, peers going up to. Uh, the mercenaries for hire and talking with them and looks like Jack's kind of getting ready. Yeah. Yeah, so Jack's just gonna briefly open the door over here, let the guys in here know. Alright, I'm heading out to, with a few students to check out a cave system that they needed help with or something like that. I don't know, details are just waves hand dismissively. I'm just gonna grab my lamp from the trunk. Mm-hmm. I'll be back later if you Perhaps see any you red flares. Well, you know that's me. Or hear a gunshot. Perhaps you should take Ivan with you, just in case. Better uh... not to go alone. And the healer would be the person you'd want with you. The doctor shall come. Uh, would any of you rem- I'm actually wondering if any of you would be able to remember that uh, Fraynel was able to do things with light a couple times before. Uh, oh, Fraynel. Uh, or Fraynel. Also, if you wanted to go with Fraynel, you could. also all have uh, lamps. Also, uh, true. Do like we get a short? Head. Do we get a long yeah. rest between? Yes. The this robot is, and today. This is yes. You did. This is second day. Okay. Okay. okay so why, we're at max why, HP. Yes. Why burn? No, you're you're not at max why, HP. Why? You heal. You heal your level plus your con mod. Uh, mm-hmm. level. So that's so seven eight. plus. To nine. Oh, yeah. I need to do math. God, you, I do not if, want to do math. Okay, really quick, Jack. How how low That's HP are you? Oh, don't be silly. I just had to do some quick mental math. I I literally healed more than enough to go to full. Yeah. Okay, I was just making sure I just need to redo my spell points back to full as well. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, do you want me to come with you? Yeah, sure. Oh, why not? Dear. Uh, I will go to the trunk and grab out a. Well, where is it? The cheap lantern. Uh, yeah, cheap electric lantern. The flashlight. Mm-hmm. Her flashlight's indifference. Same difference. I grab mine as well. Start walking. Uh, the her, I even gra- grab like a hat and some tape, and it's good to tape it to the. <laughs> To the fucking right. top of the hat to make like a makeshift mining hat. Wall. <laughs> we just need to have the place cleared out before we're allowed to even come on in. Fair. Oh, you've already found some dangerous beasties. Or I mean, no, we haven't even entered. It's just legally we need to have yeah. the place like given the one fair enough. Fair we can enough. Even... Alright, show us where it is and we'll deal with it. 
That's how cops I, soon I assume it's going to gonna gonna be like these it. caves over here. So it, they are going to take gonna you like on over paths. to this one. There's actually no cave right here. I believe somebody might have oh, mismarked okay. right here, but there is one right over here. It's right on the river's edge. It's down a cliff, or down the edge of the cliff. The student's kind of pointed on out to you. I, oh. I assume they'd, like, walk past me on the bridge. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they would. Would follow them over to the area. He wouldn't would, fly unless if he needs to. If Raynell would glance over her shoulder at them as they're walking past. But... <laughs> Unless specifically asked to do anything, wouldn't really say anything to them. I'm trying to figure out if my spell DC is too high or too low. Uh, reminder, Kit, that this is on a cliff side above the river. You're probably up here with the students. Oh, yeah, that was me who uh, moved him. Yeah, I, I don't even see myself now. Oh, you're there I am. Over, you're over on the little cliff edge right there. Yeah, if you do that, please, please, uh, shift, shifting. Yeah, hold shift when you do a ping, and it'll center everybody's focus to that spot. Boop. Anyways, so Jack will just look over the cliff face at the entrance. Uh, you know what, Ivan? Why don't you fetch that uh the light girl for right now? Maybe she'd be able to help us out. I'll at or least poke my head in real quick and see what I can find. I'm if not I'm sure if you, I'm not sure if you going in yourself is a good idea. I mean, I can fly out very quickly. Worst case scenario. Why do I need to get uh, for Nell? We have a light has, so we can see. Yeah, but just in case something go like looks at these probably fairly crappy flash flashlights like these things they may not you know last the whole time you know mm -hmm. they are only flashlights blinks and then goes away gang for now all right well you mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. moving on over to do that i'll give you I'll move this over. Let me see if this is all... Oh boy. Is, is it supposed to be a white background? It's loading in. No, oh, it'll load in. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Uh, Jack ah, himself right water. down here. Okay, so I just gotta drag myself over. Yep. Yeet. You got some spooky cave music, jazz man. Oh, how'd you know my... How'd you know my Vegas name? <laughs> uh, oh. let's see if this will Oh, up. was I fetched? <laughs> oh, that's not the right. That's not the <laughs> right. That is. Music. That's a little that, too, that too obvious. Yeah, so now you enter the uh, famous cave mimic. <laughs> it sounds like uh, when you enter the underground in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I have not gone into Tears of the King or the underground yet because I'm a fucking coward. Where the Whoa. hell is? I just had cave music put on so, here. God damn it! All right. So uh, did Ivan fetch? me or not. So give me one person at a time. There's a reason I popped this up first. Since it's going to take a little bit for him to get to you, get back. I'm going to give I'm going to give Jack a little peeky peek. Uh, as soon Fair. as I can find the music. Sneaky peeky. Is this it? Ooh. Uh, this will work for now. It's <laughs> that sounds like a club. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Yeah, hit it, jazz man. Hit it. Just uh, Jack pulls out a freaking saxophone. It starts playing, <laughs> and this is just reverberating off the walls. No, this is. <laughs> 
I can't believe it. Jack has Jack has entered a Persona 5 dungeon. Are those the bats? Yes, those are the saxophone bats. <laughs> the saxabats. The brass bats. The Follow brass my bats. Oh, that's, that's a good name. Aw, oh, man. I got to create a freaking vampire band that's called the, the, the brass sax bats. The, br the, the, sac bat the brass bats. You flick on your flashlight, you see this far. Okay. He's just gonna slowly fly in. Alright. And like and as you take your peek first, around the corner. As you take your first steps in. We'll dash back on over to Ernell. Alright. Uh Expecting you to say as you take your first step in, roll initiative. <laughs> All right. For now, um, you kind of see uh, Ivan just kind of cantering on over to you. Uh, for now, we may need you for something. <laughs> Don't ask right. me why. Don't ask me why, Jax. Uh, we're going into a cave, and Jack said that you might be needed. Well, I'm just about finished up here anyway. I'll see what I can do. If it's a cave, then I'm sure I shall be helpful. He shrugs and goes back. Alright. I will move us back on over. Jack will take one more turn, and then you guys I'll will be popping on in. All yeah, right. I'll just move Ivan in here. Uh, Jack, All I right. want you to roll me a perception check as you uh, kind of enter. Oh, boy. Hey! 29. All right. God damn. Okay. okay. Solid. You hear the splashing of water um, as you begin to make your way on in. Let me see how. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I see that far. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so I assume there's nothing this way, or just uh, more wall. Move your character on over. Okay. I'll shine northward up here and then shine down that way <laughs> after getting a good look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured. Okay. And then shine down that way. All right. uh, note, it does have a 60 feet range Ooh. in a cone. So Just for your information. Oh, Perfect. what has the range? The flashlight. Uh, uh, the flashlight. The flashlight. Okay. Okay. Let yeah, me... it has a sixty foot of of regular light, and then another hundred twenty feet of dim, or another sixty of dim light. As but you, flip, as you light? swing your flashlight, it just had over, light. Oh boy! There is the cr you hear the soft croaking coming from the water as these. Cantaloupe sized eyes are now staring at you from under the water. Oh, no. cantaloupe sized You see the glimmer. Uh, the you see the this. glimmer of little cave fishes, little cave like salamanders and little fish kind of darting around in the water as your light shines upon it. Um, and I want you to roll oh, knowledge of nature. As that you, would have oh eyes god, uh, nature. The fact that they would have eyes is weird. And eyes that yes. big. Nature, 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 nature. Where are you? Well, the eyes themselves are already. <laughs> the wow, so they must be not that's that surprisingly so. good for my only plus three that I have. Okay, you might have you might have heard about these wall. Uh, you were out on your little road trips out with your girlfriend on the road. 
um, you know that there can be little, like, cavefish and stuff that are living secluded in ponds. The things that stick out to you, though, are the giant eyes, and these are giant frogs. They are medium-sized frogs, about the size of a man, when fully stretched out. This appears to be a breeding pond. Uh, are they violent? Not unless provoked or hungry. You hear one just... You hear them just going out, hi -ho! Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Define <laughs> provoked. <laughs> Attacked first, probably. There yeah, Jack does animals. not have his weapon drawn. He just has his flashlight out. Like, a, a freaking uh, nighttime <laughs> police officer just, like, shining it with, like... <laughs> Holding it up with one hand, just like squinting, being like, uh, yes, a the, the over, the over He's got the a flashlight! He's got a flashlight! Get him, boys! Yeah, that's Whoa. what I'm talking about, is there are some <laughs> real-life animals that are quote-unquote provoked by fairly simple things. Alright. <laughs> like I mean, hornets. I'm hornets. Hornets get uh, provoked by just about anything. It's around yep. this time that I, Ivan Fernell, you two begin to wait. pop on up to where the cliff is, right above the cave entrance. Ivan sliding in, turning on his light. You kind of How very. Do you, get in there? do you like kind of slide down the side of the cliff? Sure. Like a wet <laughs> now, like a wet noodle, um. Now oh. I have to figure out how in the hell I'm gonna get in there because. Oh wait, hold on. Can I actually say something before I did that? Okay. Is there like a rock that like that looks like it's well into the earth? Are you or like a could... tree stump or something? Uh, let me look at the map. E. Uh. If you had some rope, you could probably try to tie it off to something. That's what I was going to do. Okay, you're trying to get... Okay. Basically, I wanted Wait, to find an anchor point. Alright. I know that's in our base to kit. Uh... Would we have any... I don't see them, but would we... Would it be safe to assume that we have maybe pythons or something? Uh, not unless they're in there. Well, unless it's mentioned. Damn, no, we're not. not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I know we have I, I'm, just, other things. I'm just wondering how in the heck Fraynell's gonna get in there, because for as much of a half Atlan as she is, she is, she does not want to end up in the water. Well, that's why I'm tying... That's why I'm tying the rope down to make, like, a kind of, like, a way for you to climb down. Yeah. For now, you see, you see Ivan doing this. Your mind instantly flashes back to uh, gymnastics class oh, or no. track and field. You're just like, Ugh. yeah. Fraynell did not like <laughs> disgusting <gymnastics> class. <laughs> uh, Ivan, the PE teacher. Ivan, the oh, PE no. teacher. Fraynell's worst night. <laughs> The PE teacher. <laughs> okay, class, we're now going to climb the rope. You need to climb to the top and ring the bell at the top. Fraynell. Uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, Fraynell just. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> not actually, though. Not actually. Not, not actually. <laughs> I'm just playing into the joke. <laughs> yeah, no, uh. So yeah, after Ivan tie, after Ivan ties the rope, he's gonna kind of like, uh, oh fuck, I should know this because I took rock climbing class. I can't remember. Pythons, but they're in the trunk. Pythons. Mm. Pythons. 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 Uh, <laughs> I should know this fucking term. I. How far down from the top of the cliff is the cliff? Repel! Repel was what I was thinking of. Uh, uh, he's just gonna kind of repel himself down. And that makes sense for you, because you're you're formerly in the army. Um, I'd say it's about 30 feet down. Mm. 
Right. No, I I actually took it's rock climbing class. Exactly I easy I rock hate rock that I have to look it up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> repelling would be a, the most reasonable method of entering. Fraynel just does not like repelling. <laughs> I guess she'll just have to suck it the hell up. There's really no other way, is there? She takes it slow and steady, though, to make absolutely sure that her hands don't fucking slip. I'm allowed to take 10 on this, right? <laughs> By just going slow? I'll be nice. Okay. That's you still see. A, you see your fellow that's still students. A basically a not, that's still basically a result of 9, by the way. I have a minus 1 on climb. Same. You see, you see your other students who are who are there with you just kind of give you the solemn wave as you kind of <laughs> shittily stumble down the rope. She thinks about shooting the finger, but realizes that her hands are too occupied to. <laughs> Be like, damn it! Here's, here's what I'm going to have you guys. Me. Here's what I'm going to have you guys do: um, initiative, but not for combat, just so I can keep all this. Uh, let me do... Initiative. Uh, Question, uh, do I... There we go. Question, do I need to roll up? Do I need to roll freaking strength for, for Pacer? Just roll initiative, boy. <laughs> the fitness grand Pacer test. <laughs> Thank you. God oh, the damn. net 20, really? Lol. Uh, One, you don't even need it. Just... <laughs> there goes all your luck for the session. I know! That's what's annoying! And for hey, now. There we go. Descending. Yep, so far I've had so far I've had two poor rolls, so that I'm getting my poor luck out of the way. Alright. Uh Simon. Also that the really Ivan? low initiative makes sense because I'm taking it so slowly climbing down. Yes. Go ahead and move your character as you need to. Turning on you the flashlight. <laughs> Go over here, see, see I see uh, uh, Jack. Jack who's just kind of staring out in the water like, oh, what the fuck is that? Jack, is something wrong? 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 Looks over his shoulder and Uh, we have giant frogs, friendo. Since I would have been above him, I'll just put myself there. Okay, that was... 15 feet, which leads me with 15 feet over to here. I'm probably going to say that my turn would probably end with me getting inside the club. Jack's going to just sort of point out the giant frogs, be like, what? Giant frogs. They're like the size of a person. I've, I've, I've heard about these things in my travels, and they're... They're at least Can neutral, they're not aggressive. Can I roll to see if we attack... If they... If we provoke them and attack... And they attack us if they are dangerous? Uh... Knowledge of nature. Let me get this little side. Uh, not that. Uh... Reveal. Eh. <laughs> there it goes, Ivan. I you don't told know shit. <laughs> roll twenty giveth. Roll twenty. You taketh ready? Away. You ready for me to tell you what you believe? There's no refuting sure. this. Um. No, I. Not I, only. I am fine with. Not it. only are they incredibly vicious, they will spray their own blood from their eyes uh, to blind you before they disembowel you. <laughs> I didn't they, will I, then, I, I, they will then I, wear your skin on the end of their tongue as a lure to lure out other <laughs> humanoids. I, I didn't hear that. He, he points his finger out and goes, Stun Park! Uh, as he is going to cast... He's going to cast a destructive ray at a frog! <laughs> Not okay. He is also going to... <laughs> He 
He is also gonna spend a spell charge on on this because he wants to make sure that this thing is dead. To fucking flat. Yeah, he only sees <laughs> one. He doesn't know that there's two more. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, great. To, Their to favorite take 20 food. Up, or to add a plus twenty to this. Their favorite food is Atlan and things wearing leather jackets. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm casting a destructive blast with with freaking uh uh. Do I want to? Nah, fuck it. I'll, I'll just upcast it to to do seventy seven. <laughs> well, so much for not doing initiative. Right. Damage! Uh, what sort of blast was it? Just a normal destructive blast? Yeah, normal, and actually it is not 36, it is 37 because I rolled a 2 on one of these. Okay. Um, there is an explosion of water and gore as this frog gets fucked to the high the hell. Vaporized. Yeah, you, <laughs> you have just vaporized a frog. The water turns red um, as bits of gore begin to float around in the once stagnant water. And you hear Christopher. Ivan then Ivan then like grabs his bomber jacket just kind of straightens up the the collar of it and just goes Christopher did deadly frog dealt with. And this guy's gonna move. Just blink. Blink. This one's gonna move. <laughs> no, I literally took off the other ones. I mean, if, if you saw one of your friends being blown up, wouldn't you do that? He was saying that semi sarcastically. Alright. Well, what? I got. What? I don't. What's a deadly frog? You. St- you don't think Face it's palms. You don't think it's a friendly frog. You know it's a deadly frog. You know for a yeah, fact. I, it that's why I said I don't a deadly that's, frog. That's why I said I dealt with a deadly frog. How much experience does he get? You <laughs> need a deadly frog. <laughs> Do I get all. a level up from that? No, but the trauma will remain. <laughs> all right for now there is as you are beginning to sort of like clamor your way into the entrance of this cave there is a ruckus explosion that echoes through throughout the walls of the cave i pr- i probably wince at that because I, my hearing is good and if that's reverberating all around me i'm like jesus quiet the fuck down <laughs> Sounds like somebody just set off a bomb in there. What is it? I need to just, you hear echo. You also kind of hear echoing out. Crisis averted. Deadly frog taken care of. Deadly. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you also hear reverberating. I'm just. All of Freydell's responses are just muttered to herself under her breath. <laughs> <laughs> you, you heard an Ivan and then a Jack really partially annoyed retort. <laughs> yeah, at first she what just from the reverberating explosion, at first she was like, What what are they doing in here? And then there was that exchange and she's just like, Deadly fro what? <laughs> Is that your brief <laughs> Ivan? So I could continue moving. Oh, for now, uh, yeah, for now, climbs on in there. Okay. He just said so, so I just moved myself into the entrance. <laughs> All right. Uh, I assume she's right behind you somewhere, shining his light back towards the entrance briefly. Right now, yep. I'm right here. All right, good. Well, we had some. Hey, a few giant frogs in here. I dealt with them. One of them. Uh, <laughs> I they were from what I remember. 
I can't imagine. From what I remember like... much about them, they're neutral at best, though. This what dumbass thinks that they're aggressive as hell. What are you talking about? They shoot blood out of their their eyes and and peel off a person's skin. Not only that, now that the blood has leaked into the water, it's going to start contaminating it in a phenomenon known as frog blue. <laughs> <laughs> don't, also, don't go into the, also, don't go into the water. Uh, the water's not contaminated and you'll contract a disease known as frog blue. It's going to start Just rubs off. his temples. It's a good thing he didn't <laughs> kill that thing in a populated area or else everyone would start getting sick. <laughs> I, d I couldn't imagine I would be all that good at this, but I had to try. <laughs> uh, 17. Let me see their CR. Um, I mean, I rolled a 21. So... Yeah, no, that, doesn't, that doesn't sound quite right. I am unaware of any giant frogs that could possibly be deadly. I know what yeah. I am talking about. I know what I am talking about. I am a doctor. <laughs> uh -huh. Why don't you stay here and guard the entrance? <laughs> you think you can handle that, Ivan? <laughs> I can handle anything that comes to me. I am the doctor. <laughs> Alright, Frey now you're with me. Mm. On that note, could you hold on for a moment? Your light seems a little weak. <laughs> it needs to get So I am not even I, I'm not even allowed to come with you. Wait, what did Jack it, respond with? Uh, I, he said pardon? <laughs> In response to your light is weak. <laughs> yeah, she's calling your flashlight weak shit. Rude. I just wanted to say, hey, right, that's, sure. that's the plot to Pacific Rim. What? What? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> anyway. Well, Jack's simply just going to walk to the water's edge and just see if he can get a little bit further. Okay. Uh, and try to see, see a little bit more. So, uh, eh, the 60 feet doesn't get much further than this. This guy's a phony. It is a cone, so... Ah. And as you kind uh, of... 60 feet. Come on, grab on. And as you... Objects and tokens... Did I not reveal this one? This one you did. Oh, this I'm one Not sure did. about any others in this area. There we go, that's what I meant to do. Ah! Hello, friend. Uh, I didn't know there was one there. Ah, he's kind of in the water, uh, kind of leaned up against the wall. Uh, Looks like he was about to climb on out. And now that you you see him kind of quickly turn his head on over to you and lets out a big old, like, throat bulge as you hear this guttural... It's like a bullfrog. Uh, can I roll anything to see if that was, like, a threatening one, or just, like, a warning? Uh, knowledge of nature. If my sheet will cooperate, because my fucking computer's chugging like a bitch. Welcome to the club, my boy. Uh, no. That's a six. It could there, be a... Th there, there's the bad roll. It could be a threat. It could be a warning. It could be tax advice. Wait, could that be also caused fair. by the poison frogs? My god. Can I oh roll the jack? Is just going to uh, put his other hand on his uh, gun, but not make... He's just going to like put his hand on like the freaking grip, but not actually pull it out yet. Okay. You're getting prepped. Just like, and he's just, he's getting ready in case he has to fight, but he's just going to wait here. So, he'll, he'll hold his turn here. Okay. Uh, for now. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go back. Uh, damn. Okay. Blah. Man. Okay. Pod. That's 40 feet to get Why? to freaking. Sir. Jeez. Man, okay. Uh. Well, at least I don't have to be touching to do it. Oh, I can get that by cutting the corner a bit. Okay, cool. Here, let me help you with that. And I'm gonna... As a standard action... As a standard action, I'm going to target Jack's flashlight, assuming he is willing. I can do this without a roll. Sure. Yes, I'd be willing. Okay. Because uh, an object uh, outlining it as a candle. Uh, yeah. Maybe any. But colors. then also as a, as part of this same standard action, I will also do this. All right. Uh, produce it, it does light. say this may be done as part of the same standard action used to cause the object to glow in the first place. Uh, five. Because of the I will have to cast your levels twice. So, yeah, that is a have, big AOE. But wait, while normally, while normally this would be like a sphere, basically just emanating outwards from you, um, I am subject to a nimbus focus drawback, which means my glows are always affected by a nimbus, and in this case, that is this. So best I can do is a cone, but you get a cone, which also doubles its range. So nice. it's actually 90 feet. I, it's a 90 feet foot cone, I calculated. Oh, uh, so I just okay. get more range on this. Uh, yeah. So there's 90. I, I strengthened your flashlight. <laughs> there's 90. I do have to concentrate on this, but that's not a big deal. <laughs> also, get rid of this little uh, blob uh, here. Also, am I allowed to take a free action to make a perception check to smell? Also, here's 90 down with here. With my sense uh, special ability. Give me a second. Here's 90. Right. Here's 90. So just get rid of this whole line here. Yeah, keep in mind that you... To Way over there. It's like you're. Yeah, I'm just trying to get as much as possible. There's a wall here. Yeah. So you can get in there, but. Yeah, I can barely clip that corner. It's like your flashlight just went supernova. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. Uh, thanks. Mm. I see one, two, three, four of them. That's, that's how a torch should function. It's a flashlight, but thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> she calls it a torch. Alright, whatever. And rightly you should. <laughs> she may not have the accent, but she has the vocabulary. High five, good sir. <laughs> All right, well, that is going to make exploring this cave system a little bit easier. Also, um, uh, again, as a question, uh, can I use my scent special ability to make a perception check to smell? Um, are you trying to smell for anything specific or just get a general? I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if the frogs have an odor to them. Uh, I'm trying to sniff out these frogs that are being spoken of that I've yet to see. <laughs> uh, well, that would actually be... It's a damp cave. That'd actually be a perception check to locate them. 
Uh, yeah, by which sight. I can't. By sight? Yeah. Yeah, but I have the scent special ability, so can I sniff them? Ah, uh, that's right. Um. Let me look up what scent does again. Let me bring up your page. Uh, I know it lets me sniff. <laughs> lets me you should also just display it for him. I don't actually have the... I should probably have that written down. Did you not write that down? Yeah. I, I have it written down that I have it, but I don't actually have oh, the description of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that should be something you should just have on your sheet as an output. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Like, I have an output for everything that I have on my sheet. Gains the ability to locate unseen foes. Okay. Um, go ahead. Roll me a perception check. Sneak. Oh boy, perception check. I love perception checks. Can detect a creature within 30 feet by use of smell. Okay. Which, unfortunately, there's only one frog that's probably yeah. close enough, which is the one that Jack sees right there. And with a 34, probably. This this pool smells of frog. Oh, that's exactly 30 feet. Yep. You are able to smell the presence of one frog, um, in addition to the already murky smell of the water now coupled in with the exploded frog body that was in there. Um, it's very damp. It's... Oh, God, I'm trying to describe this because I used to live next to a bullfrog pond. Um, uh, is is a... the scent of these frogs strong? Uh, yeah. Then it, if, the, if, if all of the frogs in general smell strongly, then the range... Then the uh, range I can detect at is double. Okay. Well, if 30 feet got to that frog... Yeah, it uh, says strong yeah, sense such as smoke or rotting garbage can be detected at twice the ranges noted that above. One. So three. I should, so okay, I probably should, have, oh. probably should have figured that out then. Um, yeah. Yeah, all these are in range. Then there's is... also the degree of an overpowering scent, such as skunk musk or troglodyte scent, and that okay. is triple instead of double. I'm gonna. It's not strong enough to constitute doubling your range, on there. Um, okay. I thought you were asking, is it like a That's really pungent point. smell, um, for aesthetic right. reasons? Um. Okay. But you can definitely... Also... It's its a very strong smell. I'll say that. It's a very prevalent smell within this cave. I assume you're done with your shit. <laughs> yeah. I took my move action and my uh, standard action. Ivan. And free. I honestly don't know what to do because Jack told me Told me to basically stay here. That I did. You can stay in this area if you wish. Guard the entrance. Mm, that was. I didn't want, I didn't want just ask. I give you. you surely want me to stay here and not go with you to protect you from dangerous frogs? I think I can handle myself if they decide to attack. Considering oh. how much, how badly you exploded that thing in one shot, I think I'm. If I need anything, you'll hear screaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or a gunshot. Or both. But then I cannot heal you. My healing only goes so far. Give me, why don't you hand me Vladimir? <laughs> he looks at Vlad. No, Vladimir's with Simon. Okay. Uh, probably okay, with that. Vladimir is with... If with... Pal oh no, he's with Cauldron. He's with, uh, Buddy Cauldron. 
<sighs> of course. The one time you don't bring your little pet that can heal somebody at range. I get the heal at range. My range just isn't far. No, no, it's fine. I'll manage. I will just just shrug and wait to hear the sound. The sounds of screaming. And door gunshot. Which the now that one. now that you think back on him saying gunshot, you do know that these frogs are notorious for carrying firearms. <laughs> wait, I am coming. Wait, I actually can't. I am sorry, I am changing my mind and coming with you. These, these frogs are much more dangerous than you think. Three, four, as, as the frickin' as um as Jack is starting to enter I, the water, Fraynell just I'm comments. Flying. While flying over the water, Fraynell just comments. I was just gonna this, go with him then. The scent of the dead one is quite strong, but the frogs, but the frog, the living one is also quite odorous. I've been trying to think how the fuck to get into the water without being infected. <laughs> It's a good thing I wear waterproof clothing. Oh, that Ooh. actually that gives me I, that gives me idea. Uh, I mean, really quick, I I've been as that's going on. I've been just gonna I've been just gonna freaking do what he did at the fucking prison. If but, any yeah. of you remember, just just look at her. That's Shove a screwdriver into the <laughs> elevator. No, uh, take off all of his clothes except his underwear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sigh. That's how he fucking swam in the freaking uh, prison. All right. Pointing. I'm just sh shoving where. Okay, there's right. nothing there. Okay, there's as a big you, boy there. As hmm. you flash uh, the light over in this general, that little area right here. You see the reflection of a massive pair of eyes, the size of watermelons, that focus on you, and you hear Ooh. this. Hello, big boy. Uh, there's a big one over here. Stay away. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I got it. I got it. It's not going to attack us so long as we don't attack it. Uh, unfortunately. 20 That's feet is want. all of my movement, because that is my fly speed. That's what they want you to think. Get 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 a shot at that guy. That's fine. I can't get a good shot at that one. I can get these two safely. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't, I don't like that this guy is right here. I'm going to take a shot. Zafkyle! Bang bang! Alright. Uh, don't reload now. There we go. Okay. Yep, not that hard to hit. You hit both times. Um, For a total of two, uh, 31 damage. There is an explosion as this frog splatters oh, all over the wall. Don't! Touch you! Just blows the nozzle of his gun. And he just twirls it like a freaking. Its body makes All this right. horrible sloshing noise as it floats up into the river, or er, into the water. To fight monsters, we created monsters of our own. <laughs> Is it All wrong right. that I'm just, like, mentally imagining the, um, the death sound of a mancubus from classic doom <laughs> also, also roll constitution for also roll fortitude save for tinnitus <laughs> uh, jack's been firing guns for a long time he's probably not in a fu not in a fucking okay, cave okay. Right. All right. your point jack your turn that sound reverberates Oh, is it still my turn? I was just asking, is that all your turn? Uh, I moved, I shot, I don't think do I can you, do anything do else. You have, 
Do you, oh no, wait, you move, so you can't do like two attacks. Yeah, he could only do one yeah. attack. Which actually, let me double check. Eight. That would have been 21 damage if it was just one. Uh, I, I have extra. I have the extra attack, which is where that came that from. Doesn't, now, uh, that doesn't. That only goes on when you have full attack action. Couldn't he have barraged? Or is that not a thing? Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, I would have needed to take a full turn action. Or track, like, expanding uh, my martial focus no, to do barrage that. Is, okay. Barrage is standard action. I actually made a mistake. You might. <gasps> I mean, hold would, on. That boy would still be there. <gasps> Horribly maimed. It's a special attack action. That's a special. Uh, you may make two range attacks. Yeah, I don't know what the uh. Okay, so <laughs> special attack action would require. Uh. That would have been a seventeen and an eighteen. Well, the first attack does not apply. It's everything after the first attack. What? No, I it's it, it, it is the first attack. As a special oh. attack action, you can, you may make two ranged attacks at your full base attack bonus, but minus two. So it's a so yeah. it's, it's a seventeen and eighteen. And you and right now because you, do you have at least six base attack bonus, right? Yes. Then you can expand martial seven. focus to do three attacks but at, uh, at a minus four. four. Yeah, I don't. Well, like you do can the do two, two attacks so. at minus two or three attacks. <coughs> at minus two. Uh, I'd rather do the two attacks at minus two, so a seventeen and an eighteen. Yeah. and then you can apply a blitz so. if you have a blitz. All right. I do not. That's like a fucking so it's instant still done. replay because that lets you move and attack twice. All right, your yeah, because it's I only a standard act. Your first bullet does not kill it. Amazingly, it brings it down to one HP. It lets out this horrible <laughs> frog shriek as the bullet tear, tears across its skin, and you're just like, oh, oh god, and you put a second bullet in it as its brains splatter across uh, the cave wall, and it starts seeking into the water. Just God, I have God, never heard God. a frog make such a noise. Just deadpan. Baba Blows the, the nozzle of his gun. Honestly, I've heard worse. But from a frog? A frog I for dinner. Say, Listen, I... for right now, I'm I'm a I'm a guy from a mafia family. I've seen some shit. I Ivan Chun's in going that's from a frog? That not, and that's to say that I have <laughs> No, and Fredo uh, retorts, and that's to say that I've seen the same things. I, I've been chimes in saying, there is no deadly bellow. If you hear it, your brain will explode. That is true. That is true. Mike, can I put a bullet in his head, Fredo? <laughs> I don't think many would miss him. No, no, just I... Fraynell just pauses and then closes her eyes as she rubs the bridge of her nose and says, Ivan, my brain is not exploded, but I'm starting to wish that it had. <laughs> All right, Fraynell. Yeah. Your turn. How deep is this? How deep is this water? It goes up to, uh, let me see here. It goes up to about your belly button. Okay. That's not so bad. So, Again, I'm wearing waterproof shit. She always wears waterproof shit. She doesn't like water. <laughs> Quite ironic for a half atlet, but she doesn't like water. <laughs> it's wet. It's wet and it gets all in her light devices. <laughs> oh my! Half the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she, right. she makes things that produce light. She, All right. She's, she's a bit of a thinker. Anyways, that you, that she you will in the water. wade into the water a little. All right. Is that your full turn? Uh, I can see this, right? Yeah, you can see him. There oh, yeah, are a clear shot of him. There are good. Ch there are several large frogs. Currently, just staring at you guys. 
Several. I see four. That's several. That's several right. enough. <laughs> several is like three or four. Guys, stay focused. Eh. <sighs> that it? I'm on. I'm uncertain oh. of how actually dangerous these frogs are, but if we're, but if we're killing them anyway, just raises a hand to one finger point at this one, and I will actually do some cool stuff. Also, thank you for actually having this place lit up, because I cannot use my blasts in darkness. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, so yeah, this, by the way, I don't have, I do not have to do a spell point, because both of my, because both of my blast types are, uh, light. I have this one and that one. And they're both in the same, uh, the same type, so... Yeah, and they're both D4. Uh, so I do not increase the casting time or spend an additional spell point when using the Ith Mixture Talent with two blast types from the same blast type group, which these two are from the same group. So I don't need to increase or spend anything. I just use these. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll roll whatever shit you have to do for damage if you're doing damage. Yep. That is this. Alright, you a rolled a hit. 17. A 17 to hit that guy for 15 untyped damage. Alright. Then... Any creature struck by the attack? Mm -hmm. Or that fit okay. Um, must succeed on a fortitude save. So you're firing out a blast yep. of light at it. It you automatically can... has a minus two penalty on perception checks and will saves for four rounds. That that's unavoidable. Okay. Uh, now it now though it makes the fortitude save for um, God damn. The concealment part. Um yeah. seventeen plus eight. What's While your... it passed, you fire the out the seventeen out. passes. You the seventeen already passes. You fire out a light ray at this thing. Um, it manages to duck underwater just in time to avoid getting blinded, but it still takes the sizzling, like light particles of your attack. It yeah. is still up, and it looks pissed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now that you've attacked, they get. Is not your turn just yet, Simon. As the frogs get the move. Simon. Not Simon. Ivan. Uh, I, I see it. No I'm worries. Here now. Uh, I see it. No worries. Uh, I see it. No worries, Star. I was a frog all along. <laughs> you thought it was Ivan, but it was me, Simon. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. No worries, Star. <laughs> and Simon just rips off his disguise like freaking Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> no, it's like that SpongeBob episode where they're just ripping off the mask. The frogs, but it was me, Kermit oh. the Frog. Wait, Hello, the I've been their leader all the time. Woo! I really went down the drain after Miss Piggy divorced me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we call this a episode? Uh. It's time to raise the curtain. Uh, it's time to raise the Kermit. <laughs> what about what about boiling a frog in water or something like that? Uh, what's that? What's that saying? What's that phrase? No, I I have a be I have a better name, Kermit Suicide. Actually, that's interesting because these things are partially submerged in water. I liked your flavor of it diving down under the water just in time to avoid getting blinded. But because my blasts, all, all of my blasts, whether I add mixture it or not, even if it's just the basic blast, all of them exhibit the properties of light, so they technically refract. <laughs> this thing, Anyways, this frog's gonna nerd. charge. This frog's gonna charge oh, you. Oh no. Now. 
<laughs> as you see it oh, duck no. underwater and almost like a like a shark or an alligator comes charging at you. It's gonna make it's gonna bite you. Am I, am I flat footed, half submerged in water? <laughs> um I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. Okay. Versus your Jesus eyes, Christ! Whatever that is. Well, probably. Uh, oh no. Okay. Um. Not like I'm hard to hit. <laughs> that's a nat twenty. Uh, oh no. That's, uh, so let's go. Roll for crit confirm. So, Need to roll so for what crit was that confirm. About? Death. Frog. Um, Death. For now. Frog. What's your AC? Yeah. Uh, my AC is 13. thirteen. I'm not hard to hit. <laughs> this thing comes charging through the water. I'll get to you in a second, Nevo. Um, it leaps from the water and bites you right on the face, like a face hugger from aliens. <laughs> You're gonna take excellent two d four. Oh boy. Or wait, no, I 2d6. Don't actually, plus. I don't know. I don't actually know how in the hell concentration works in Pathfinder, but. Uh, it depends on if you are hit, and I believe the DC is usually like. I believe it's 10 or whatever the damage is. Uh, concentration equals 10 plus the damage taken plus the level. Level of spell you're casting. Okay, what what would the level of casting count for for my glow? Uh, I believe we're considered like full casting level, so. So get kit. Let me handle all the rules, my boy. Sorry, sorry. Um, so one thing at a time. You take. You're gonna take thirteen points of damage, as this thing bites you on the face. You are also grabbed. Um, hits with the indicate deals tech. And may attempt to start a grapple as a free action without provoking attack of opportunity. So this thing gets to grapple you. Okay, how do I contest it? Oh, isn't um, a I grapple a CMB versus CMD? So, yep. CMB versus your CMD. Okay, so it's just making a roll against a DC determined by my stats. Yeah. I'm trying to find careful casting rules. So, and Spheres of Power has its own little thing. Your spell level, uh, your spells have a level equal to um, half your level, basically. Who just logged out? Okay. No, that and, was just me. Uh, I just and so that would just and so that would still work for my base sphere ability. Yes. Okay, so half is so three. your spell level would be three. So the DC for a concentration is ten plus uh, thirteen plus whatever else. Because it's 10 plus half of my level, which is 3. So 10 plus 3, then plus whatever else might be needed. And while you're looking at that, I'm going to roll its grapple tint. Okay. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 14, 15. My CMD is 15, so... That matches. For now, this thing has your entire head in its mouth. <laughs> you are being eaten alive. Literally. So what was that about not deadly frogs? And before I get to deadly the Deadly to her, not to us. Hell up. Nevo, you had your hand up. Was up, never. Tom. Um. God damn it. Hello. Oh, yes. there he is. Hi. Yes. Hi. Yeah. You had your hand up. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, 
It just felt like, I don't know, the half of our party being absent for this is a little uh, unfair, maybe? I don't know. I mean, Jack, to tell you where him and Ivan were going, roughly, with a group of students to go investigate something. You could have followed us if you wanted. Hello? Yeah, I'm thinking, right, I'm thinking right now. I just kind of assumed Storm had something else for the second half. Well... I wasn't expecting you guys to go in just by yourselves, admittedly. Yeah. Mm. You shouldn't have given us options. And I took 13 damage, you said? 13. Guessing That's over a, a DC, DC 20. 26, excuse Man, DCs and Pathfinder are fucking stupid with concentration. You're probably going to be uh, dropping that. Uh... Wait. Your, your concentration yeah, really, is... You get your magic MSB and your casting modifier. Yeah, your your concentration check is the level of your... Or, eh is a d20 plus your spell level plus your spell casting ability modifier. When you, make, when you make a concentration check, you roll a d20 and add your caster level and the ability score modifier used to determine bonus spells of the same type. So, you're a half caster. No, I'm a full caster. Yeah. Okay, so we're in level 7. So that's right. Spell level would be half of our level. What's your What's your modifier for? Uh, I use int. Your int is your int four, a three, a four, or a five. It's a plus four, so. It's a four, so you've got you you've got, a, got plus a plus eleven. Plus eleven. By those rules. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the frog up, our bigger frog on up. Make one attack. Then we'll take a little break. Because Tom's right, I need to rectify this mistake that I made. So... Let me move. Ooh. Froggy boy. Does anybody know an over... an overweight purple cat? You are... Ooh. Um... Okay, um... Wait, it can charge and make a single attack. Which means it can move up... They could level. rush in hearing the... They could... They could come in hearing, like, the reverberation of the blast. 15. I mean, they probably heard uh, Ivan's initial blast and then a couple of gunshots go off. Maybe the students freaked out and sent up a flare. <laughs> I'm at 20! Yo, your nice. lights are loud. <laughs> your lights. I mean, to be fair, Jack did say if they heard screaming or gunshot, they could send up a flare. Just and yeah, Fraynell too. just gets a frog on her fucking head, and just a bit muffled, she's just like, <clears throat> Ivan, tell them to get help. Charlie Frog is here. Big Frog's going to eat your flashlight. That's a delicious looking firefly. <laughs> oh flying. no! A delicious oh, looking firefly. What? what? How? It's got, its tongue has three times its natural reach. Bruh. <laughs> Don't I get like any sort of roll against this? I'm going to roll a CMB. I'm going to roll a CMB versus your CMD. Yeah, because yeah, I imagine this basically just a rock. What is your CMD? 
It sounds 19. Like 19. All right. Yeah, it sounds like it's a disarm. I mean, it's okay. going after the flashlight, not my gun. That's Yeah, but that's basically But that's our light disarm. source. It's basically you also still have trying one. to remove something from your grip, which is essentially a disarm. Huh. So it counts for a CMBV CMD. Not I'd say. Great. You said your CMD was 18? 19. 19. Okay. Yeah, that comes up way short. As this thing latches out with its tongue to try to grab your tasty light, um, it's. Uh, I just smack it. <laughs> You see like, it come no, within it. inches of your face. It's it's the size of a basketball. The tip of its tongue is. It's just like oh. Well, I think uh, I know what I'm gonna do. All right, Ivan. Ivan is going to just face towards the entrance of the cave. Yell out! Yell out! <laughs> Call the others. We need help. And okay. he's going. And hearing the uh, distress, the I, distress I, up I, for now, he he is going to step over. To, uh, okay. Uh, I was oh. If I remember correctly, um, if I remember correctly, the red flare is oh Jesus fuck Christ, and then yellow flare is this is kind of spooky. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So he'll well, say he'll say would orange. Probably request for it. I would probably request for a yellow flare, which is the... Yeah, he was going to say yellow flare, the yellow flare, as Ivan's going to step over to here. Uh, he does manage to see this frog. This frog that is currently on Fresnel, she is like... No, this one. He oh, sees the like the corner one. of this one. Yeah. Yeah, so Ivan is going to raise his, raise his hand, seeing the, the frog, and go... Oh no! Big deadly frog! As he is going to, he is going to uh, upcast his spell uh, to to do again the seventy-seven damage. As he is going to roll to hit this thing. Okay. I've been completely ignoring that Fredel's head <laughs> is inside of a frog. He sees a big frog. He sees he's just a big frog. <laughs> He sees giant. To be fair, I'm going to barrage. Yeah, and he doesn't know that. You also know. He just sees big frog. You also know that Fernell's a complete goner with that frog being latched onto her head because it's going to replace her brain cavity with its young. <laughs> True. <laughs> Fernell, I Fernell's, a lost, frog. Fernell's a lost cause. Fernell's a lost cause. She's already dead. Yeah, as it's far just as, a body now. Yeah, so as far as Ivan is concerned, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna make a quick blast at, at the, uh, frog. the venom. That's uh, let actually, alone the the frog blue that's in the body. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually gonna point. I'm actually also gonna point my sword at this frog. I'm gonna point Galador at it and shoot it with Galador, uh, <laughs> creating a fire blast. Hard. Okay. No, I can do that. I can channel fire through it to deal extra damage. <sighs> so. Ah! Ah! That is a 19 to hit for 46 fire damage. It's crispy. Oh, Christ. 46. That is also a lot of. It does not kill it. You hit it's this frog. It's still there's alive! It's still alive! It, there's an explosion of fire. And you know, you know, this is bad news. Because frogs eat fire. Especially big <laughs> ones. In fact, it will absorb its power. <laughs> I just. I even watched out a Homer Simpson scream. <laughs> For, I, I'm assuming Fraynell can't spell uh, la- thing other than the inside uh, last of thing. a frog. <laughs> last thing. Free, last thing. Free actions. Homer Simpson's brain. Alright. And turn. 
We will jump I'm back assuming Fraynell literally cannot smell anything except the insides of a frog. You smell its guts. <laughs> Alright. I smell Excellent. its stomach and it smells stinky. <laughs> Alright. As you guys are kind of... We'll head on back up to the surface. Let me see here. Okay, yep, is up. Hold on, wait. There, no. there may actually have been something different. Give me a second. No. Uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I should not be there. <sighs> it is quiet. Like, you're... You're so used to jobs, like, when you're out in the forest where things were constantly trying to murder you or just... Just a normal day. It feels like a day at the office where you guys are just kind of sitting around <laughs> drumming your fingers. Um... <laughs> Alex, I want you to roll a perception check. Cool. Would you like some tea, Curtin? Mr. Neville? Perception. Yeah, that's uh, good. Soft 20. 20. Soft 20. Alright. Let me see here. Yeah, you guys you guys sitting in the room, there's other students that are just kind of meticulously taking their little toothbrushes and just kind of scraping away mm -hmm. at, at little dust particles. Just It's just like watching paint <laughs> dry. Uh, as Alex, as you are fidgeting around, kind of just getting the trunk organized in the car. Uh, you you really need to sell some of this treasure. You see out of, the, out of your peripheral the glow, a yellow glow beginning to ascend into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly followed oh, by, shit. you see a student who kind of takes notice of that, begins to run across the bridge on up to uh, the work spot. Actually, he goes up to the main office to uh, your guys' big air quotes office first, bangs on the door, gets no answer, runs across the street where he sees Buddy Bonesley. Or no, I'm sorry, Buddy has a new name. What was Buddy Bonesley? What was Buddy's new name? You called him Dee Dee Dog? Dead Doggo. Dead Doggo. D. Or Dee Dee. Dead Doggo or Dee Dee. <laughs> he rushes past him and begins to slam on the door. It's in the general direction of where those bozos headed off, I assume. Oh, yeah. Is it far? Um, it's not terribly. I'll it's start the just, car. That, that too. It's just, it's just a little bit past the. It's just a little bit past these buildings, and then you hang a left to the cliff out. You could, you could run, and you would be there in like two turns. Or is faster than two turns. <laughs> All right. I pull around to the front of the thing and kick the other doors open. <laughs> you could also turn it on to Earth mode. You're not there. <laughs> You're not there to make man through the Earth. <laughs> Run over a frog. <laughs> <laughs> main office? <laughs> yeah, main, main study area. You hear banging on the front door as a student pokes his head on in. Warning light, yellow. Warning like deadly frog. <laughs> I'm being eaten. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of stands there. And, he just kind of stands there and stares at you guys, kind of waiting for a response. Well, that's as good a sign as any. <laughs> I like the dead ass. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> no Just brain like, cells. <laughs> well, that's as good a sign as any. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dead. Uh, this is why I love curtains. Looks is idling also, the car outside for y'all. Despite the party. <laughs> I've finished my tea. <laughs> it took him this long to finish his damn tea. Excellent. Question: What's, it, question, what's it a standard? Question: What's it a standard action to drink? <laughs> or do you have the quick, do or do you have or do you have the quick chunk feature? 
What did you the say, Tom? quick shot feature. All good, all good Vinigovians have the quick draw feature. We drink our tea as a swift action when... Yeah, no. Is... No, so... so what did you say, right. Tom? Mm. I may even finish a cuppa as a immediate action <laughs> if the queen is present. <laughs> <laughs> the queen is present. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. Finish a cuppa as an immediate action. Oh, fuck. And some curtain gets in too. Oh yeah. Move your token on over sorry. outside. I'll move, right, I'll move the right. car on. Oh, whoop, nope, that's my ruler. <laughs> there we go. Roll. Alex, how do you want to get there? Drive, surf through the air, or surf through the air, or slither through the ground? Uh, I'll probably just, like, regular drive over the bridge and to the cave. Unless Drift. All right. <laughs> I went. I'm waiting for that bridge to fucking yeah, break under yeah. the cars. No, it's a pretty. It it's looks a perfectly like a good road here. Yeah, it looks like a perfectly sturdy stone brick bridge. I can't imagine it'd fall under that. Whoops. No, don't don't click curtain. Click. The bridge, the bridge <laughs> way down the way. That's like just a couple of planks. There's no Room. way. Boom. <laughs> On tires. Vroom, da vroom. You zip on over in the Justicar. On over to yep. the cliffside. You see a couple of students who are kind of leaning over the edge. They're on their bellies, kind of like trying to get a peek into the cave. Uh, but obviously, with That's their angle. Feet down. Just hear a bang, bang. There, are, yeah, there's the sound of gunshots and screaming. Uh, deadly frog! Deadly the- frog! Notably, only those two are heard because I imagine my muffled voice does not echo that well. <laughs> so, uh, one of the How students look on. How tall is the cliff? About thirty Sorry. feet. Cool. Something about a. You see one of the students look on over you. Something about a DD bog. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Cool. Alex jumps off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> See a cruel world. <laughs> <laughs> into into the water. water. No, like cave. I don't know. If there's no there's, in between. Okay. There is rope. You see, there is you rope do there. see a rope leading from like a tree. I ignore it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ignore it. <laughs> Sorry about. That. Is it like a straight vertical cliff face, or is it sort of angled a little? It's, it's angled. It's like it is in the picture. It's angled. I, I okay. jump hor- horizontally as good as I can and just sort of aim for the cave. Roll me in acrobatics. <laughs> I'm gonna turn to smoke before I hit anything. Oh, well you should have said that. I'm just using my movement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know, using gravity to use up most of my movement. <laughs> You just you do a swan dive into smoke. Yeah. Okay. But like I turn at the very end so I can use as much of my smoke movement as possible. There's a scream from the students as you begin to jump on over, but then just dissipate. <laughs> They're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Yeah, very confused <laughs> students. Rest of you guys. Hmm, a rope. How blasé. <laughs> Over by the tokens. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, sure. The entrance is over by Alex's token. Not that other X, I don't know why that other one's there. Yeah. yeah. Whoops. The, the, uh, this is not real. <laughs> give me a second. Well, I'm here goes nothing, everyone. Whoa, I've just been moved. Sorry, Whoa. I was trying to grab the X, but it... That that there was to symbolize another cave entrance. Yeah, there's not that a cave entrance there, exist. though. You that you said it was. Exist. No, I said there was okay. one right over here when you guys were first putting those down. 
I don't know why that one was over here. Because I put it out. I put it there because you said that there was a cave entrance over there. Okay, well, I'm just going to carefully, carefully. There's one over here somewhere. Uh, Grab the rope and jump and flip in. Sick. Dual about, flip. I was about to put it because it was about yeah, there. Good. Don't don't worry about the X. Low it's on close players. enough. All right, you do yourself an acrobatic flip. Are you wanting to roll a uh, acrobatics to see just how fancy it is? Sure. All right. You're holding the rope though, right? <laughs> yes. You Tarzan? Oh, well, he's not just—he's not just Tarzaning. This is like those old pirate movies where they leap from the crow's yeah, nest on down. You're—you're yeah. sin you're sinbatting this. Hell yeah! And Simon he being ex Simon being extra British today. <sighs> uh, well, I've had my tea, so there's a bit of pep in my step. Fair enough. Or whatever the equivalent to Britain would be in this world. Vinagovia. Cadran Nevo. Yes. And, uh... <laughs> you guys joining them? Yes. Well, <laughs> um, about the rope, uh, how close is, is the water to the cave? Um, it's pretty, it's right up there. Uh, so it's almost at the water's edge. So if yeah. I, like, drift my dog, like, to the water, could he just, like, slide down and then, like, we slide down on s instead of the rope then? Because I don't know how a dog's gonna use a rope. You could carry him on your back. You could do... Dogs you do, are also... You just do what uh, the Navy SEALs do. They put their doggos on their shoulders and then they just repel. <laughs> oh. Meow. That type of strength, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, 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 never, I guess though? if the cave entrance is so close to the water, in theory, couldn't you just, like, swim from the water and climb into the cave? Like, literally just get out of the water into the cave entrance if it's that close. Oh, Is he lighter weight if you take the bone- take the meat off his bones? <laughs> <laughs> just have Buddy <laughs> ride on your- Just have- just have Buddy piggyback on you as you swim to the cave. Wait, did- did he put the wings- yeah. did he put the bat wings on Buddy already or no? No. No. Oh. Okay. That is an option. I mean, if if Fraynell wasn't such an anti-water okay. half atlan, she probably would have Nemo, considered how, just jumping into the water and swimming. How are you doing this? How do you uh, want to do uh, this? Uh, uh, considering he's probably a lightweight, probably would have just like went in the water and then had the uh, DD like jump into the water and just like go from there. Just like swim up okay. to the cave. Okay. I mean, you kind of help him. Probably That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Curtin, you rappel down the rope. How do you do this? Tell me how the army uh, man does this. I take a very large stick, drive it on like a stake to the ground, make sure it's kind of secure, can hold my body weight for the most part, and then. Pell my way at, down after tying a well, was like nice square knots onto it. All right. Uh, doesn't so it sounds like you don't even trust the rope that I've tied. You want one tied your way. <laughs> I want you guys to put your tokens right at the cave entrance. We'll do. Oh, so you know it. Technically, my turn already went off. Here. Yes. There, uh, I would assume. Uh, in, in that area where Kurt is. Yes. Where's the uh, entrance again? Right. Ah, I see. Over here. Can I be further forward because I have smoke movement? <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. You could probably. Yeah. 
should stand. be an order that we <laughs> enter. You, then, you just hear Ivan yelling. Uh, you hear Ivan yelling, "Deadly frog! Deadly frog!" I want everyone who just joined on in to the cave. Roll yourselves initiative. You've got it. Oh no! Now Ivan is yelling, "Deadly fire frog!" Deadly fire frog. Deadly fire frog! Deadly fire frog! Shit. Yay. Sigh. There you go. Good roll. Alright. One, two. Missing curtain. Missing Nevo. Mm. Nevo ties with me. You forgot to select his token. Oh. Uh... Uh, Nat one, Never. rip. Nope, I'm putting him in there. No. Oh wait, that's Kurt. Put that in there. Uh, the army man took too much time. Yeah, it took me too long driving that stake in the ground. You're just like, oh god, Nevo. You weren't ready. Ivan, put this in here. Ugh. Put this in as. Yeah, it's also in the military. Uh. Air Force, but still. There and then Nevo was also thirteen. So you get. Uh, I think Jack. I think Jack could go first because his deck so, is higher. Actually, you guys get to decide between each other who goes first. Uh, I mean, Nevo, you want me to go first since <laughs> you got already in the cave, so. Okay, so uh, just put a point. Iron, oh, we're just gonna do there this. Go. Oh, I was just gonna put a point, a point one next no, to my. We, you can, we just move them around. But you can just there. shift them. All right, Alex. Already done. As you kind of step on into this cave, you see Ivan completely <laughs> freaking the fuck out. You see Fernell with a man sized frog on her head eating her like eating head. her head the oh. Fernell and Jack Jack's currently hovering above a pool of bloodied and gore filled water uh, his gun and Fernell is ready. a waist deep in it <laughs> deadly fire frog deadly fire frog <laughs> she doesn't say it because she's snug uh <laughs> She will. Yeah, she's just gonna. Oh, good, the link. Uh, she's gonna fly over and possess the frog on her head. Okay. <laughs> that is probably the most helpful option. See if I can get it to regurgitate. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, you can possess. You're gonna make it on it. <laughs> I possess the frog. Okay. I make the frog the link up. for the thing. Is in the thing. It's a frog. How hard can it be? Did it see me coming? I get a bonus if it didn't see me coming. Yeah. No. It. It. It's it was more concerned. Her, <laughs> it was more concerned with eating the student than it was with Ooh, the rat. It's just... like a. Does it get a cloud of smoke? Does it get a save or anything? Apparently. Oh, I'm a double check. Apparently, I would turn into castor oil's vapor. Look at this. So it gets uh, the save, yes. As a hot gets a minus two. But what okay. is the save? What is the save? What is it? Probably constitution or fortitude save. Uh, I would guess. Fortitude, I think, sounds right. Oh, God. Could no, will done. save. Will save. save. I've. I had a feeling it would be a will save if it's possession. Yeah, dominating their mind. That makes sense. Oh, I was yeah. just thinking because of gagging. Oh, it already gets a, a minus one from will, so this is a minus three. <laughs> minus three. <laughs> yeah, I, so, I, can, I, can, I can do this. Roll a negative that's, two. <laughs> that's three to save. <laughs> you are now <laughs> possessing a frog. The sensation of a giant hairball in your throat suddenly overcomes you. Um, and also, you know, another human being's head inside of your mouth, your possessed mouth. 
Yeah. Just, just, can I, can I stop? Can I stop? Yeah. All right. For now, you suddenly... Can I stop the, having a head in my mouth? You suddenly start to feel the frog stop trying to swallow you. And you think for a second, oh, God, is it, is it, like, going to vomit up and try to regurgitate as it tr- slowly climbs off you? <laughs> It's like when those those videos of a tree frog that like tries to bite somebody's entire finger and then they're just like what? <laughs> <laughs> For now, you are no longer just... being eaten, and there is still a frog just staring up at you. Just sploosh back into the water. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, Alex, you sploosh into the water. And you spy, like, half a frog and a small intestine float by you. I'm in danger. (laughs) There's also a (laughs) massive frog right behind you now, covered in burn scars. This is a a frog the size of a horse. Cool. All right. (laughs) That your turn? It's a big fucking frog. Don't don't worry, it's it's just partway frog legs. Whoops. Wait, does standard... No, I already did the movement to get over here. I just standard action is just... Yeah. All right. Yeah, Jack I'm good. boy. <laughs> All right, well... I don't uh, know why that frog decided to stop trying to eat me, but I'm damn glad for it. <laughs> well, I'm going to light big boy up. It's time for a barrage. Frog thumbs up. <laughs> and now it's giving you the thumbs up oh. for now? <laughs> Alright, bending the martial focus. Also, smoke is coming out of its mouth. Just is, your, is your smoke of Oh, there, this is the first two. Oh, that's oh. an yes. one. Oh. oh, no. It mostly smells like cigarettes. It smells like this frog well, has been smoking now. It goes off. So, the, the, 20, the 29 is now 25 for a total of 31 damage to the big boy. That kills it because it only had attack. it only had two HP. Oh, wow. being serious! <laughs> wow, I'm going to. Okay, can I re-roll the final two attacks against one of the others? Um, because they have different ACs. <sighs> but that nat one though. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll percentiles. Oh god, thank god it's his magical bound weapon. Ooh. He okay. can repair this thing easily. I hope. You can. You can repair those easily. Um <laughs> What happened? <laughs> um, I'm scared. You pu- you pull back the hammer on your gun and you fire um, blasting this frog's head just brains against the wall and they splatter you see this thing rear on up and you draw back the hammer again um, to take another shot Um, as you feel something brush past your leg you're like oh what the fuck thinking it's another frog and you misfire the gun it deflects off the cave wall and hits the frog that Alex was p- possessing in the ten spot. Oh, okay. So there Alex is, got hit. There or is a the, the, splatter. The, the, there is a splatter wow. of blood as Alex, you find you are suddenly depossessing a body just as soon as you possessed it with a bullet hole through its skull. Right. Uh, after, oh, do after I get I my third shot? Yeah, you can take your third shot. Alright, well, uh, ignore the second attack. Uh, Oh, god damn. 31 to hit. Yeah, that hits. For, that is 27 against a guy right here. Wouldn't it be a minus 9 since it's his second attack action? No, because he's doing barrage. They're all minus 4. Hmm. Because I barraged. I thought it was minus 5, minus 4. That is minus four for all three attacks. It's his. Yeah, it's his sphere so ability. Twenty-seven. 
It's a 27 mm. to hit. Alright. Minus 6. I just thought that it added with the uh, minus 5 for second attacks. Or is it minus 6 for second attacks? Alright. Which was the other one you were aiming no. at? Uh, the one right here. That one? I'm like, oh, fuck. Re aim. <laughs> As you splatter this thing against the wall. Yeah, I just shared in chat okay. um, that be before the, the stupid possessed frog got nuked, uh, I probably could have at least smelled Alex's smoke if it has an odor to it, oh, which uh, Alex said it does. All right. Uh, make an additional attack. I can still move, I think. All right, so I'm gonna move ten feet. Which now activates this as a move action. So I get my re. So long as I spend at least half of my movement and no more, I gain my martial focus back. So bloop, I have an infinite way of just spamming. Nice. Um. Oh, hey. Uh. By the way, if you're ever barraging, uh. Make sure to add plus five to attack number two, because that's an iterative attack, so it's being made at a minus five. So when you're clicking this attack, it assumes you're making a full attack action, like the full round action where you attack oh, at a plus yeah, six and it, then a plus one. That is true. It does, it does inherently have five less than it would. Um, so that would be a 20 minus two and not a 15 minus two. Just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that fourth attack didn't matter. I'm just helping out. Yeah. Sorry, I'm. All right. Nevo. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use my entire move to run all the way in the air. So I'm just gonna spend his entire action just running in. Be careful! The water is deadly. <laughs> Ignore the him. Blue. Uh, You're careful, gonna get the frog blue! Careful, the water is deadly as Fresnel's already standing there in it, waist deep. <laughs> uh, covered in frogs. I think you're away from it. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're already a lost. Yeah, you're already a lost cause. <laughs> Great. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I mean, he could be right. I mean. But who the hell knows? Let's but be honest. The hell <laughs> Jack's the most knowledgeable about these goddamn things, and they don't know that. that. <laughs> That's why he said simply ignore him when referring to Ivan's paranoia. You hear him scream out, "You might get, you might get frog blue," and you're like, "The dishwashing detergent." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we already got that back. No, oh, never mind. Alright. I assume. Uh, I'm gonna I this for personal reasons. Sense motive. Sense motive? Oh, man. I keep rolling high. God what, damn. What, are you, what are you trying to <laughs> sense motive? Tell, tell the storyteller. Okay, well, I've been doing this since last session. It has something to do with Ivan and for now. Oh, uh, okay. I'll, so I'll well, leave it at that. I... Okay. Very confused. I have a sneaking suspicion I may possibly know what it's about, but... Question mark? Anyways... I, I assume when Alex unpossesses the frog, she's still a cloud of red smoke. <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah. Okay. So now there's the. So not only did the frog explode and die, but it even released a cloud of red smoke. <laughs> vaguely, yep. vaguely person shaped. Ivan, smelling of cigars. <laughs> Ivan, yes, cigarettes. you know for a fact that this smoke coming out of this frog was Fresnel's soul. Truly true. <laughs> oh no! He starts. 
He starts muttering to a prayer and then goes, Oh, wait, I don't believe in the god. <laughs> wait. <laughs> I'm not <Yeah>. religious. Shit. <laughs> fact. <laughs> Just fact. Simon. Oh, wait, I'm, ag oh, wait, I'm agnostic. Oh, my gosh. Uh, um... <laughs> Uh, I love how I love how much Gypsy sounds like he has no fucking clue what the fuck he should do. I uh, yeah. Can you help me blow goddamn Ivan's brains out? <laughs> Drown Ivan. Wait, he can. He can I'm gonna look them. around. That's the only frog I see so far away from me that I couldn't possibly hurt it. Right? Pretty you much, can't yeah. even see it. You can't even see it yet. You'd have to round the corner, sir. <laughs> yes, I will do that. You just kind of walk I'm in on this horrible to... side of everyone, except for Jack, who's just kind of hovering. Everyone who's in the water is just swimming through viscera. And I've been fucking panicking out of I'm his mind. I'm moving at half speed and hiding in this corner here. <laughs> 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 um, looking at the single frog enemy that is far away and not scary, <laughs> Simon is going to lift an eyebrow and he's going to cast an illusion. Okay. That illusion is um, an inky blue blood that is in the water. That is creeping towards Ivan. <laughs> I'm not in the water. I'm not in the water. You're at it's the so, shore, though. So it's right here. It's like right here, and it looks like it's moving towards you, like it's a Venom symbiote suit. <laughs> <laughs> There's okay, something blue in this. the water. Why are you always traumatizing Ivan? <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's a million answers to that question. Yeah. Actually, but the one you're asking important. the tricks to Rogue. <laughs> hmm. He's doing that to the medic as well. Also, whenever you can take break. Take break. Uh, it's almost one o'clock, so it's about that time. It is almost about that time. We got about 15 minutes until. I'll tell you what. We'll stop in about 15 minutes. That way, we can get... Oh, wait, stop game or stop take game. break? Stop game in about 15 mm. minutes. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. It's fine. Well, at least we're here now. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, so, anyone that attempts to perceive Simon, first you would have to see him through stealth. And... You could see him, the signs of him casting a spell, but the DC is 15 plus his stealth plus his casting ability modifier. To know what he so, did. So, to know that he did something. It'd be 15, right. 31 plus. It's, it's 25. It'd be a DC 25. Oh, because I thought your stuff was 16. No, oh, I no, no, my st oh. stealth ranks. Stealth ranks. I, you can only uh, have as many stealth ranks as you have uh, levels. Uh, okay. So, seven. Uh, I, I also just want to ask really quick. Oh, no, it's 26 I, now. It went up. Sorry, it's 26. <laughs> Whoa. I, I just want to ask really quick. Uh, the So, the frog that was trying to eat me, like, it, it was like, there was like saliva and shit right oh yeah you were being you were being eaten uh did that wash any of the dye out of my hair <laughs> let's see oh no the more of the blue <laughs> yes it did oh god my hair is going like pale like it is probably almost white <laughs> yeah it is. It's the pigmentation I'm probably even it's more the... convinced that I am dead as shit. Yeah, so now Ivan is going. It's the oh, mind of a deadly frog. 
Yeah, my hair like is barely even purple anymore. It's basically stark white with some yeah, I, I, light I, I just, of purple I, left. <laughs> Ivan is going, it's the albinoism of the throne! Well, you already know that her soul's been what? sucked out, so... She yeah, like no. pats. She like pats her. She like dabs at her hair a little and brings her hand away and looks at her fingers and just sees a little bit of purple on her fingertips and is like, "It washed out my hair dye." All right. <laughs> Let me see here. Why would you even be wearing hair dye? I prefer the look of purple hair. <laughs> Blink, blink. Just, oh, just rubs his chin, staring at her. I like either way. <laughs> With her stark ass white hair and purple eyes. I mean, Jack has not much in terms of preferences. Whoa. Simon, were you still doing your illusion? Or, wait a oh, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, it can it we can only progress so much in one turn. I figure initiative will roll around. Okay, Fair but enough. that's his turn. All right. I'm not much. I'm not. Much I would say. I would. Say, I would hair. say. I would say. I depict it flowing uh, from Fresnel out and reaching the square adjacent to Ivan. All right. Uh, yeah, I know what I'm going to do on my turn. For now, you see actually pretty much everyone who's in the water right now, you see this blue sludge begin to rise up around Fernell and slowly drift closer to Ivan. Would I be able to, would I have been able to smell Simon enter the cave even past his stealth? Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 Brings up bum. a good question. Roll bum, perception. Bum, 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 bum. Oh boy. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you didn't. It, it, it's a good thing you didn't go invisible. Otherwise, I'd have extra bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. So you see him. You see him over there, and he's uh, leaning against the wall. Looks like he was a little tuckered out from uh, his flip down here. Right. <laughs> you you may now make a a check to discern spell casting if you'd like. And what type <laughs> of check is that? <laughs> that would be uh you could you would go ahead and make a perception check. Another perception check. Uh yes, perception or spellcraft, whichever is higher, but for you obviously perception. I actually have ranks in spellcraft, but <laughs> you'll probably succeed. Yeah, my perception is like. But we'll see. My perception is like fifty percent higher than my spellcraft. Thirty-one. <laughs> Ooh. So you see, he's casting something, but you're not sure what. You 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 see you see you see he's doing some he's doing some stuff. You think hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, with his uh, spell set, his 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 his, his abilities I've to put two and two for, together immediately. I've known you for two days. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally about three days. Sir, certainly, he's showing signs of spell casting, um, although they're subtle. She'd probably know enough from three days, though, that these people seem to have a thing for torturing Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a fair commonality across three days. Um, who knows? I'm asking the DM. <laughs> I'm going to leave that up to you. I haven't tortured Ivan. Right. Simon She's... certainly hasn't shown any outward signs. <sighs> that it? I'm. She's gonna look down at the blue shit in the water around her, <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of squint at it 
and bloop, think bloop, that bloop, there bloop, is bloop, 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 nothing bloop. that this possibly could have come from in regards to these frogs. It's coming and from the frogs. It's frog blue. <laughs> as far as she is aware about frogs of this size, there was no blue on them that this could have come from. <laughs> All right. So whose turn is it next? It's it's for now. No, I I oh, okay. I haven't even done anything on my turn. I. <laughs> it's your Don't turn. get too wrapped up. She's just going to wade straight through the cloud of cigarette smelling smoke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all she can see is a cloud of smoke, and smoke is to be passed through because she cannot blast through smoke. <laughs> all right. Your your smoke blocks my shots, madame. <laughs> they are light. <laughs> so she's just gonna go forward. And see the frog over here. Burp. And just. She doesn't like this frog either. She's <laughs> decided that these frogs are quite rude. <laughs> Lol. They have no manners. So I will actually f spend a damn spell point this time to augment my <sighs> spell. <sighs> Oh, I actually have a concentration bonus listed on my spells tab. Okay. Oh, I can actually roll a concentration roll right there. Okay, that's cool. Yep, caster level plus ability. Okay, I just noticed that. Uh... Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother add mixturing this time, that just reduces my damage, really. Screw you. <laughs> oh my I god! Missed oh my ten. lord! That you, would have killed. It. That would have killed it if it hit. You exactly. go. You go to try to blast this thing. You start to charge up your blast, and it gives you this glance that sends a shiver down your spine. You flash back to when one of them tried to eat you just a second ago, and you're like, hey. "It's a legendary Papa Frogger." And you see your blast. You see your blast fly over its head. All right, is that it. She just like wipes over her eyes with a hand to try and clear them out. Yeah. Curtain. Dragon. Yeah. He's got a mosey on up. Yeah, well, I and you like could down. Yeah, and you can shoot it from here. I think. I think you would. Yep, that's a straight line of sight from there. Yeah. You just kind of you just kind of mosey on into the cave. You see, you see, sight or Ivan freaking out. You see everyone kind of waist deep in gore. Except for Jack, who's <laughs> who's currently flying <laughs> above the goddamn. <laughs> you see he's laughing like a fucking maniac. I'm more surprised than anything that there were so many issues just based off of a couple of frogs. <laughs> Doesn't even pull out the <laughs> ever box of suits. Just pull out your pistol. Okay. Uh, first one hits. Um, you hear this, you hear the same scream, this horrible bullfrog scream as your bullet pierces it. And that yeah. scream is enough to kind of throw off your aim with the second shot. You're like, oh God, it makes that noise. It is still up. All right. I move. Is that your turn? Yeah, I'll do it. And it kind of surprises you. Cause you I, like you I've think been of, seeing, so oh. frog turn. Oh, okay. So <laughs> frog turn, frog turn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the it, the uh, XCOM enemy move enemy <laughs> movement thing begins. It's a Baba Frogger. Baba Frogger. Let me see. 
You're a little. It's the legendary far. Kermit the Frog. Pulls out an Uzi. Uh, I'm Guy gonna subject you to my frog <laughs> blue. <laughs> and pulls out a Gatling gun. You're really gonna regret pissing me off, you bucko. <laughs> it pulls out of. It pulls out a Vulcanet. <laughs> it pulls out two of those. Uh, <laughs> Those, it's running uh, away from what it looks like. Warforged cannons. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked with the wrong person. It just goes into a mobile suit Gundam. It, yeah, it just summons one of the fucking mechs. It summons a train mech. You fucked with the wrong Golemancer, <laughs> sir. My name is Rocket. Rocket Frog. I fucked a pig. Don't think I won't fuck you, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we can call this episode Kermit Suicide. No, I I, I actually have a name okay. for this. Kermit Cozzy. No, I have a name. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. I I have a name for this episode as well. Kermit Cozzy. Yeah, he is going good. to flop on into the, uh, further into mm. the darkness. <laughs> but, yeah, of course. The, As you, it's my, like my, it's like Homer Simpson he going vanishes. into going into the hedge, but it's a frog going into the shadows. Yeah. As yeah, the last yeah. thing you see my, are the glints of its eyes as it vanishes, and there's just a moment of silence there for a second as you guys are just kind of looking around at each other. Like, did was that just a bunch of frogs? Was that it? As you guys begin to hear reverberating throughout the entire cave, a monstrous croak that rattles the sides of the caves, causing little bits a of debris to come on hero. down, sending little ripples through the water where you guys are standing. A monstrous croak. Motherfucker. And that's some. <sighs> It's a legendary Baba Frogger. That's where that I'm gonna end it. Like That's where I'm gonna end it for tonight. This will give me an option. That sounds just... like quite a large croak. Can I just say what I was gonna do? Yeah. I've been seeing the the blue sludge move towards him. He's gonna. Fa I'm gonna have him actively fail the check. He's gonna scream and run this way. <laughs> Not knowing that Simon's there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna fucking crash into each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, because also Curtin is blocking. Oh, you're running that way? Okay. Yeah, I'm running straight forward. <laughs> Behind me. <laughs> it is the curse of. <laughs> Literally pivots 180 to just run in the exact opposite direction of the sludge. Yep. The minute I get that reaction, I stop concentrating on the thing, and it 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 will dissipate in one turn. I have lingering illusions now, so they remain for one extra turn, I think. Uh, but then they'll it'll just dissipate. But yeah, I'm crashing into you, buddy. I don't. Sure. That character-wise, I don't know that you're there. Wait, wait, are you are you rushing? Are you going to smash into both of us like a big train, like a big like a big boy pile? Uh, boy pile. I'm, I'm think basically you going past. 180. Oh, you can go yeah. right past him. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi, Simon. Watch there's, out. <clears throat> there's blue frog in, in the water. <sighs> there's <sighs> frog blue. Thank you very much. Frog blue. Also, Fresnel is dead. <laughs> Are you alright, Fresnel? Oh no. Not I'm Frog fine. Blue. I'm fine, if with. I'm fine, albeit white haired. <laughs> Her hair turned white. Is she a ghost? <laughs> it, you want me to she, carry said, you? Uh, she, she sounds genuinely. She sounds genuinely. Hold on. Like saddened about her hair going away. <laughs> Hold on, Do I can maybe cure her. Carry you? I'm going to I hate water. Really quick, uh, there's going to be some. I think divine... that was the frog's gut sludge that did that. I don't I care. care. Get me out of the water, please. Also, just wait. pick her up. Also, for now, you are healed for 31 positive energy. 
Well. Hopefully you're not a True. vampire and you are hiding it. Because I, I mean, then not you'd be vampire. dead. He sh Jack just scoops that her up bridal. <laughs> Simon kind of right. clum clumsily if, gets up. By the way, if she was a vampire and damaged by positive energy, that right. would have killed her. Because she had 29. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have immediately killed you. We needed to deal with that. Lord she just picks Frog. her up, bridal, and she's just like, "And what do you think you're doing?" He said, "You wanted to get out of the water." He says with a slight deadpan, "Or do you want me to drop you in?" What do you all think you're doing? The episode ended five minutes ago. <laughs> Whatever. I'm still streaming. <laughs> she she was more so complaining about the way you were holding her, but she's but at the mention of door, do you want me to drop you back in? She's just she just pinches the bridge of her nose and goes, Whatever. But yeah, uh really quick, I'm what being a nice guy. <laughs> oh sure. A nice what are you guys guy. uh, okay, but people talking about actually out of game My since dad. I imagine we're ending it. Yep. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for Doesn't, watching, everyone. Doesn't right. Jack Stream already out. have a girlfriend? <laughs> Three he does. Are. And 